a lot of people are complaining that you're still blocking them on Twitter. You know you can't do that, right? Yeah. Well, look, if, if somebody is, there's plenty of critics that are on Twitter and Facebook and we allow them. If somebody uh, uh, is uh, belligerent towards other people on a feed, uh, trolling for this, the sake of trolling, um, uses language which uh, is inappropriate, then yeah, I took the liberty to uh, block them because more often than not, it is not a real individual. We've never done that for somebody that has put their name and their face out there, either one or the other, with a valid opinion. If you're making five or six Twitter handles to troll somebody and then criticize other people on a Twitter feed, um, yeah, you know, I, I don't think you should be part of that conversation. You think the law is on your side in that regard? Yeah, I think, well, look, I mean, who knows? If somebody wants to litigate it, they could litigate it and then we'll correct it. I mean, the courts will decide and we'll go through the process on that. But I, I you know, we try to use social media as a platform to allow a conversation. There's plenty of people that are supporters of mine on there and there's plenty of critics on there and that's totally fine. But I think it's important not to have anonymous trolls just criticizing other people and, and destroying that discourse, which we all value.